Hey, y'all. Thank you for the continuous claps for me to walk all the way up here. I, too, have thick thighs. So shout out to all the people with the point. I was like, oh, our thighs do matter. They do save lives. They do. There's a couple of people begging for life support back, but it'll never happen. Amen. <laughs> um, so, y'all, it is such a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. My name is Tia Skipper. Listen, the poems I've heard so far, y'all are freaking phenomenal. Let me tell you a little small story before I get started. Is that okay? Thank you. I'm from Chicago, okay? <laughs> no, I appreciate that. That's perfect. So I'm from Chicago, and I think I was around like 17 or 18. And every Sunday I was used to like going to the club with my friends because I love to dance, right? And so one particular Sunday, my friend was like, yo, it's this open mic on the south side. We should go. We should go check it out. So I'm like, okay, cool. Let's just go. I went to that one open mic, and when I tell you it changed my life, I had never had absolute clarity in my life. Like, the moment I was there, I knew what I was supposed to do. Years before that moment, I was like, what am I? Who am I? I can do everything, all things. I wish I had one thing, because then I wouldn't know who I was, right? The moment I stepped into that room, I was like, oh my God, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm seeing full, that was the first time I saw people who were full-time poets. I didn't even know you could do that. Like, I just thought you wrote a poem and you shared it and then you went back home and figured out how to pay your bills. I didn't know you could put gas in your car and pay your bills and get a new car for poetry. Like, I didn't know there was a life. Like, there were vendors set up with people selling their own jewelry that they made, people selling Palo Santo. I'm like, what, where, where has this world been? My mama keeps telling me to work at McDonald's. I didn't know entrepreneurship was a way. So by the time I went on this Sunday, I'm like, I don't want to be anywhere else. So every time every Sunday came, I'm like, I got to figure out how to get to the south side. Now I'm from the west side. Just imagine. Okay. It's from the completely other side. By the time I get to the south side, the trains are going to stop running for me to come back. I was so dedicated. I would go every Sunday having a way there, not knowing how I was going to get back home. That's dangerous. Don't try it. Don't try it. But it was how much I loved it, and I kept going, and then I started sharing. And one poet came up to me, and I thank God that she did. She said, Tia, she said, I appreciate that you sing background for us and that you help us with this. She said, but that's not what you're supposed to be doing. And because I was uncomfortable with a compliment, I didn't know what to do with it or where to put it, I just laughed it off. And she said, that's the problem. You think it's funny. But you have more than what you're doing, and if you take it seriously, you'll see it. So I'm telling you that story because that started my, my trajectory of traveling and performing, singing and doing poetry around the world. Last year was my first time having like an actual job. I've been a full-time artist since 2014, paying my bills, putting gas in my car, putting food in my crib, paying that car note on time, just from what you think you wrote in a phone. So I don't want you to think it's small that you're just here sharing something. It's somebody somewhere who does not know how to put those words or those feelings into language. And then it creates anxiety. Like, why do I have so much energy I don't know how to release? Because you need the words to release it. So for those of you who know how to put words together and you know how to articulate the worst moments of your life, Think it not small, because that is medicine. And somebody somewhere has had the same mirrored experience, and when you go to share your shit, they're gonna be like, that's exactly how I felt. I just didn't know how to put it into words, right? So I'm just saying, you know, you can do it, okay? It started with pen and pad, and then it led to me working with Disney, and then it led to me working with VH1, and then it led to me working with Google. You understand? Just from writing it down. So share your stuff, and it's never old to new people. Hello. All right, let me get into my set. I'm done preaching now. Can I get a little reverb on this microphone? Is this the one you licked? I just want to make sure we're not up here <laughs> kissing, because that's basically what it's going to feel like.